I'll tell you why it's real hot here. I'm back at Park Gwell, otherwise known as Gaudi Park. It's been a long time, but I'm really happy to be back here. This is probably the most abstract fairy tale park design in the world. Let's go have a look around. Park Gwell sprawls down a hillside in Barcelona. It's unlike anywhere else I've ever been. Designed and built by the man whose fingerprints are all over the city, the crazy genius, Antoni Gaudi. It's Gaudi at his most psychedelic. Only he could have made something this full of color and life. It's kind of a trippy Disneyland. Somehow it manages to be mad and peaceful at the same time. The first time I came here was about 10 years ago. I'd been clubbing, and it was kind of like six o'clock in the morning. We came up the top of the hill, found the park, jumped over the fence, and we found this fantastic spot. Perfect view over the sea, perfect sunrise. It was incredible. They talk about Ibiza and the Cafe del Mar for sunset. This is the sunrise spot. Actually, this park wasn't originally meant to be a park. When the Guell family commissioned Gaudi to build it in 1900, the idea was to create a high-class housing estate. There was space for 60 families to come and build their homes here and live in a suburban utopia. But most of the middle classes in Barcelona didn't really buy the concept. They only built two houses in the end. This house here was actually where Gaudi spent most of his final years before he died. Maybe at the time, Barcelona's middle classes didn't really see the vision of what Gaudi was doing. But I tell you what, if he was doing it right now, there'd be millions of people clamoring for a little piece of land here, and I'd be one of them. To the naked eye, the park looks like a mad jumble of unrelated images. But in fact, it's full of hidden meanings. Gaudi had two great passions, God and his country, Catalonia. If you look closely, there are signs of his Catholic faith and all the cultures that were part of Catalonia's past, Roman, Moorish and Gothic. Add a load of magical symbols and wild colours and you've got an architectural version of free jazz. One of the things that I love about this park is the way Gaudi's mixed different influences together. Lots of Eastern, lots of Western, very ahead of its time. A little bit like one of my real true jazz favorites, Sun Ra, a great musician who fused lots of different styles together. In some ways, it's lucky that it never became a housing estate because one of the great pleasures of the park is the acres of beautiful gardens and wild woodlands. And they're all connected with a maze of paths and bridges which cross over each other at different levels. Gaudi built these amazing structures out of the stones he found in the park. It's like a forest of petrified palm trees or a kind of organic cathedral that's just grown out of the ground. I think Park Guell is a rare example of a man expressing himself with complete freedom. It's not plastic like a modern theme park. It's a truly original fantasy world. 